Hello, I'm Jimmy Neal Smith, and I'm founder and president emeritus of the International Storytelling Center in Jonesboro, Tennessee, in the United States. 2003, I met Gita at the National Storytelling Festival. After the festival, we had dinner and we talked about storytelling and its impact on our world, our society, our, society, our lives. And soon thereafter, I sent a letter to her formalizing a, an affiliation between your organization and the International Storytelling Center. And since that time, Gita and I have been in contact, uh, supporting each other in our efforts. And um, even though I'm retired from the International Storytelling Center now, I still remain active and involved in the work of storytelling. Um, I, when I think about what you all have done and what Gita has engineered, and you all have done together, I think about, um, I think about Daniel Boone. Now, you may not know Daniel Boone, but he is a folk hero here in the United States. He was a trailblazer. He would uh, blaze trails, cut through the forest of southern Appalachia, and find new pathways. Well, he was a pioneer. You are pioneers. You are paving the way for the future. You are finding new pathways to bring storytelling to the lives of the people in your country. And you stand out, not just within India, but you stand out throughout the world because there are probably few countries, maybe only a handful of countries, that have any organized storytelling program, national storytelling program at all. So look at what you're involved in. I founded the National Storytelling Festival in 1973. I was a teacher, high school journalism, here in Tennessee, and I was listening to the radio, and on the radio was a storyteller, and we were having such a good time listening to the stories, and I turned to my students who were with me, and I said, we need to have a storytelling festival in Jonesboro. Of course, I didn't know what that was. But I knew what a festival was, and I knew what storytelling was. And I, I wanted to do two things. I wanted to try to save the stories that we were losing there in the Southern Appalachians and across the country, across the world, but also to help Jonesboro build its economy by tourism, bringing people to Jonesboro. Well, I think we've accomplished both of those goals. And I am proud to say that we have, over the past 40 years, advanced storytelling in America, launched a storytelling revival, but not just here, but one that spread across the world and including India. I want to tell you a, a little story about Bill Strickland. Bill Strickland um, created an institution in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania in the U.S. and it helped poor ch children, mainly black children, in his inner city community. He was a potter, so he started out teaching pottery and then he went on to 
teach, bring in the teaching jazz and, and uh, all kinds of things. It was a remarkable place. I heard him speak one time, and I was trying to think about what my future was like, what ISC's future was like. Should we build a, a facility in Jonesboro? Of course, we have. But it all started with Bill Strickland. He was telling us about his institution that he had created in Pittsburgh. It was fascinating. It was wonderful. I was not only impressed, but I was enthused about what he was doing. But at the end of his speech, he said, he said something that touched me, and I think it probably touches a lot of people, including you in your work. He encouraged us to go home and build an institution that confirms and makes real what you know. That's what we've done with the International Storytelling Center in Jonesboro. But so have you. You've created an institution that confirms and makes real what you know about storytelling. Created new programs like the Academy and the Story Space and new methodologies for helping children get excited about learning. Yes, and you're sharing what you know with people around your country, and soon around the world. I, I believe that storytelling has great power, and I know you do too. And one of my beliefs is that stories, our stories, can help us achieve our dreams. There are seven billion people in the world. There are seven billion dreams and seven billion stories. And what we need to do is to tap into our stories. The stories we tell now and then to think about the stories we want to live in the future. There's a gap there between our now story and our new story. We fill that gap with whatever we need to do to move from one story to live our dream story. And I believe that makes, well, I think it makes dreams come true and I think it makes lives better. What you're doing there, what Gita is doing there, what her associates are doing there is remarkable. You're, you're blazing new trails and new pathways. You're building an institution that confirms and makes real what you know and you're making dreams come true. I congratulate you. I am proud to be a part of what you're doing. I'm proud to be responsible for an affiliation between your organization and the International Storytelling Center. And I wish you well as you continue your work.